Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make some super quick and easy coffee bar spring decorations. So it's going to be a two for one. If this is your first time here, welcome and thank you for joining me. I would love it if you subscribed and hit that little bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. This video is a collaboration and it is being hosted by the lovely Belinda Soto. If you guys haven't checked out her channel, make sure you do. She has a bunch of awesome DIYs and we have collabed before so you may have already seen her or subscribed to her channel. But if you haven't, I would invite you to head on over to her channel and watch her video as well. And along with her, we are also going to be collabing with Josie with Life at 50 and Beyond. You guys already know she has a ton of awesome organization videos and DIYs and of course course my friend Lisa with the channel Green Crystal Rose who also has amazing glam DIYs. Jessica with the channel Measure and Mix who also has a lot of rustic and farmhouse DIYs for you. And new today is going to be Kristen K with also a lot of amazing DIYs. We are building a sisterhood here you guys so I would love it if you guys went and showed some support to them also. Make sure you check out their videos in the playlist linked down below and also make sure you guys subscri subscribe to their channels but let's get on to this DIY. So today we're going to have a 2 for one but we're going to go ahead and start out with some greenery, just some white flowers and then also some green leaves and these are actually extras from previous projects that I've done before. I know I'm showing you floral foam, but I actually ended up using a pool noodle and then also of course my nautical rope and then this placemat. Everything is from the Dollar Tree. I chose this placemat because it's going to go perfect in my coffee bar and then of course without missing a beat, I'm going to be using my foam board as well. So if you guys see this big old roll of burlap, I actually got it from the company burlapfabric.com. This huge roll is 300 feet of burlap and it will cost you $35. They did send this roll to me for free, but they are actually going to be giving a $5 coupon off of any $5 purchase. So make sure you guys check out their link below for any of your burlap needs. Can you imagine how many projects you can get done with this thing? Like, a lot there is no limit and honestly I'm super excited because I'm gonna be using it a lot in the next few videos or in the next DIY so stick around for those but let's get on to the actual DIY now so as you can see this placemat has six different pictures a couple of them are the same but I'm gonna take the four that are different and I'm gonna be making a box so right here I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of score it with my box cutter and two of these I'm going to be using to make some coasters. And I found it a lot easier to cut with my scissors than with the box cutter. So I'm just doing that. And I'm going to go ahead and cut out just the square. I'm going to take off the little um, trim or frame that it has around it. On the other four, I am going to keep that frame though. And also, you know, I used four of these to make a box. But you can actually just use one just for looks. And then the rest of them you can use as coasters. And you'll kind of see what I mean when I get into the video a little bit more. Right here, I'm just going to go ahead and start drawing out my box. So as you can see here, this is the one that's going to be for the box. And you can see I left the trim on the image. So I'm measuring out about quarter inch around that picture and I'm cutting out the square um, foam piece. So here I'm just going to start building my box. Sorry if I stutter a lot. I don't know what's happening today. So I'm going to go ahead and start building my box. I'm just taking my hot glue and then gluing the pieces together. Once these are all glued together, I'm going to take the box and then I am going to go ahead and trace around it to make my base. So next I'm going to take my burlap fabric and as you can see it's the perfect size for this box so I'm just going to cut a piece that's long enough to go around it. I am going to take my hot glue and just glue down the corners of it and just be really really careful because obviously that is going to come through the burlap and you don't want to burn yourself like I did many a times. So uh, once I get to the corner there I'm just going to go ahead and glue it down and down again. I'm going to take the images from that uh, placemat and as you can see I'm just gonna go ahead and center it on each side and this is the part that I meant that you can just do one side and just do one image and use the rest for coasters but I decided to do all four sides and then just at the bottom here I'm gonna go ahead and glue my rope just to give it a little touch of 
extraness. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> just a little extra look and so you can't see the bottom of the, fo of the foam board there. And then I'm also going to be doing the same thing to the top. I did it at, on the very edge towards the top. And then I didn't show this part but I did another row underneath that so you don't actually see the fraying part of the burlap. I hope that makes sense. And you know what, after looking at it, this would actually make a super cute canister, like you can put your coffee pods in there or anything. So you could take another piece of foam board and then add this other picture on the top, put a little um, knot on the top with a rope and that could be your lid. So there's an idea for you. But anyways, I went ahead and put my pool noodle in here that I reused from a different project and just started adding my greenery in here because of course it is for spring so I want to make it look as green and springy as as possible and as you can see I have a bag full of leaves that I've used from different projects and flower stems so I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of those and stick them in there to kind of cover up that orange pool noodle and this is the final look I have it here on my coffee bar and this if you have a question on the sign next to it that's literally just a picture and then a Dollar Tree frame and that's it so um, all right so I'll let you guys watch this and I'll get on to the next one All right, so now for my coasters, I took that very first piece that you guys saw me, saw me cut, that image without the trim around it. I traced it over the foam board, cut out that piece, and just took some of my burlap and glued it around. And after that, I just glued my image on top of that and finished it off with some rope. And that is pretty much it. I was only able to make two coasters, but again, that's because I used four of the images on the box. But you can always withhold those, use one image on the box, and use the rest of them to make your set of coasters. So that's going to be it for my uh, Dollar Tree coffee bar spring decor, you guys. Make sure you guys head on over to watch the other videos as well. Show some support and show them some love. Tell them I sent you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up. Uh, any comments down below and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.